Hi, I'm Eric Bauer with IR. I'm the Global UC Product Director, responsible for our Unified Communications platform. And I'm Matt Torpy, Lead Unified Communications Solution Engineer, also with IR. So our solution prognosis today does universal communications experience management. So really bringing insight and understanding to how communications happen and making sure the quality of experience is what's expected. We're looking to extend that with the Skype developer platform to bring true interactive communications to what's traditionally an IT operations solution. So let's take an opportunity to look at what we do today for universal communications experience management. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Matt to go through the product. Great. Thanks, Eric. Let's take a look. I've gone ahead and logged into the web interface. It's an HTML5 compliant web interface. So any one of the browsers that you use today that support HTML5, you'll be able to use with your prognosis solution. HTML5 also enables anytime, anywhere access uh, for accessing prognosis, whether it's an on-prem deployment or an in-the-cloud solution. Now that we're actually looking at one of our particular link or Skype for Business sites, you can see there's a lot of different data that's coming up within the screen for us. We have information around our server pools, the roles of those different servers, the numbers, the contactability, even the maximum CPU and memory utilization for each one of those servers. In addition to that, I'm looking at my real-time calls that are actually happening in this environment. I can see I have 15 active sessions, and I can even gauge my user experience based on the data we're receiving. In addition to that, we're receiving a little bit of information around the network so that we can help identify the worst hops within that environment. Let's go ahead and drill in and take a look at those 15 active calls. Now that I'm looking at these actual calls within the link call summary screen, I can see that I have uh, origination and destination information, I have durations, I have end times, I have my user experience, as well as my SIP response code. So again, this is information we're receiving in real time. What enables us to receive this information in real time is, is the ability to tie in with Microsoft's uh, SDN API that provides us this network layer visibility for in-flight voice quality information. Let's go ahead and drill down and take a further look at one of these. Now we're looking at one of those active sessions under the link call details screen. We can see again information related to the call information. Apparently that call just ended, but information that we're receiving in time is, is statistics around the, the, the SIP URIs, the number of cores on the different machines that are involved. We also have associated quality streams so that we can identify uh, user experience uh, bi-directionally between these two link clients. We have network hop information so we can track essentially that session as it traverses those different network devices to help identify any areas where impairment can occur. What Prognosis can do to take this the next step is once that call is actually completed we have a unique feature called Voice Quality 360 which is essentially Prognosis's ability to stitch together voice quality reports over a multi-vendor environment so that we can display at a high level information about the entire path of the call, not just the, the specific leg that's related to your link environment. For this specific call, we can trace that through this environment from the left-hand side going to the right-hand side. We go from a link client, we have bi-directional audio quality to an SPC, bi-directional audio quality to another SPC, and then down to the end device. So as you can see with the Voice Quality 360 feature, combined with our in-flight user experience information, Prognosis Solution can help you to manage and monitor your link or Skype for business environment today as well as in the future.